Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. What are we going to learn today is all the things that, not all the things, but somehow I, I try to cover most of the things that we need to use in the airport. If you are traveling somewhere and you are taking um, any, for example, an um, Arab airport or maybe you are doing a transit in uh, an Arab airport. So uh, basically what you need to look at is the signs, but what if there's no English, for example, or what if there's no uh, your native language inside the airport and there's only Arabic? So what are you going to do? Um, as you can see here at the beginning, we have the word says, um, the sentence says, in the airport. In the airport, it means fi al matar, fi al matar. So basically, fi, which is in, al, which is the. And then Matar, it's the airport. Okay, so basically what I'm saying here is in the airport, fi al matar, fi al matar, inside the airport. So, what kind of words or what kinds of what kinds of things that we can we can see fi al matar? Starting with, with al matar itself. So basically, we have the airport. And which says al matar, al matar. Then we have airplane, which is al ta'ira, al ta'ira. Then we have entry, which is al dukhul, al dukhul. We have entrance, which is al madkhal, al madkhal. So basically, if we, we we need to make uh, sure that we're saying two different words here. So the first one entry is al dukhul and the second one entry is al madkhal. The exit is al khuruj, al khuruj. Gate is al bawaba, al bawaba, which is like you saying double W here, al bawaba. Okay. Then number, raqam. Number is raqam. And then ticket is al bitaqa, al bitaqa, bitaqa, al bitaqa. So if you want to say uh, ticket number, you say al bitaqa, raqam, and then for example five, khamsa, al bitaqa, raqam, khamsa, uh, ticket number five. If you want to say al bawaba, raqam, khamsa. Gate number five. Al Bawaba Rakam Khamsa. So I'm going to repeat a quick fast here. Al Matar Al Ta'ira Al Dukhul Al Madkhal Al Khuruj Al Bawaba Rakam Al Bitaqa. Now let's make some difference here uh, between, or let's say, um, okay, which words are male and which words are female? So I'm going to write F next to the female words and M next to the male words. Female words usually end with Ta Al Marbuta, which is this one or this one. So basically, let's start with Al Matar. It's a male word. You say Hadha Al Matar, this airport. هذا المطار. Then we have الطائرة which is female. You say هذه الطائرة. هذه الطائرة. Then الدخول which is somehow um, neutral. So basically you can't say um, الدخول like using هذا الدخول or هذه الدخول. No, you can't say that because basically الدخول is like you are doing something. You are you are you are doing an action. You're taking an action here. So basically, this is not male or female word. Al madkhal is a male word. So basically, you say هذا المدخل هذا المدخل. Al khuruj is exactly like al dukhul. So basically, uh, you don't say هذا or هذه with these two words. Then we have al bawaba, which is female word. So basically, you say هذه البوابة. So for example, you say هذه البوابة رقم خمسة. This is uh, the gate number five. 
الرقم is a male word so you say هذا الرقم خمسة هذا الرقم خمسة or هذا الرقم عشرة this is number five or this is number ten البطاقة is a female word so basically you say هذه البطاقة رقم خمسة this is ticket number five okay now continue talking about the words but on other slides so we have for example here foreign exchange in if you are in the inside the airport you probably can uh, find um, you need you know you, of course you need to use the local currency basically so uh, in order to do so you you have to go to the foreign exchange office inside located inside the uh, airport and then uh, start uh, converting money so what is foreign exchange in arabic it's very easy word it's called tasrif al عمولات. So the first word here is تصريف. So تصريف العمولات. العمولات. Again, تصريف العمولات. So basically, um, there is no literally like um, exact translation for this from English to Arabic. But foreign exchange means tasrif al-umulat if you want to use both words merged together. But if you want to know the translation, al-umulat means currencies. Okay, so basically this is currencies over here. Okay, and tasrif is exchange. So basically when we say tasrif al-umulat, we mean the foreign currencies that's why the foreign exchange means tasrif al-umulat however if you want to use currency exchange also it's going to lead to, sa to the same meaning then we have the registration form which is istimara al-tasjil istimara al-tasjil so resist re, 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 blah, 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 blah. yeah <laughs> I don't know why what's happening to me so registration is al tasjil okay form is istimara so istimara al tasjil registration form then we have the signature if somebody is asking you for the for a signature he says tawqiyah tawqiyah so starting with t middle in middle with ق at the end then we have luggage trolleys which is the one um, we use for the bags over here yeah something like that i know um, whoa whoa what a nice trolley anyway so luggage trolley is arabit al amti'a arabit Al Amtia, okay, Arabic, Al Amtia, luggage only, you say Al Amtia, Al Amtia, so luggage is only Al Amtia, okay. Then we have passport control, which is Muraqabat Al Jawazat, again, Muraqabat Al Jawazat, passport means Al Jawazat, passport with S here means Al Jawazat. Control means muraqaba, and you can see it over here. Okay, so muraqabat al jawazat is passport control. WC, you can say dawarat al miyah, or you can simply say hammam, like that, with double M, but using H at the beginning, not H. Okay, so either you say hammam, or you can say dawarat al miyah. So basically, if you are looking at at uh, the sign, toilets are going to be dawrat al miyah, dawrat al miyah. But if you're talking to somebody, you can ask him for hammam. Okay, so either dawrat al miyah or hammam. Check in or check out is ijraat. So ijraat, it mean it means here the procedures. Okay, ijraat means the procedures if you want to translate only the word but if you want to say check in or check out you say ijraat al mughadara so plus those two words ijraat al mughadara it means check out and ijraat al dukhul 
it means check in okay so ijraat only the hold on let me let me delete all of these start again so if you want to use only the word ijraat it means procedures if you add one of these two words al mughadara it means ijraat al mughadara means check out if you say ijraat al dukhul it means check in ijraat al dukhul or ijraat al mughadara then we have a stairs which is al salalim or al daraj al salalim or al daraj okay use the one you think that it's easier for you to spell al salalim or al daraj luggage again is al amtia so repeating the whole slide one more time uh, slowly so you would have the chance to repeat after me tasrif al umlat استمارت التسجيل توقيع عربة الأمتعة مراقبة الجوازات دورات المياه إجراءات المغادرة الدخول السلالم الدرج الأمتعة Now it's time to move to the following uh, video was going to show also more words. Now, these words that we already uh, learned in the previous video but this time I'm using the English letter for you so you would be able to spell it correctly. So I'm not going to repeat everything and going to explain everything because I already did in a previous video. But I'm going to quick, uh, quick repeat the words one more time as a revision and you can check the English letters over here. So the airport Al Matar, Al Ta'ira, Al Dukhul, Al Madkhal. Al-Khuruj, or you can say also Al-Makhraj, both works. Makhraj is exit and Al-Khuruj is also exit. Al-Bawwaba, Al-Bawwaba, so it's like, like 2W, Al-Bawwaba. Raqam, Al-Bitaqa. The translation is already available on the previous video, so you don't need to translate one more time. Tasrif. Uh, Umulat, or I forgot to add Al over here. So, Tasrif Al Umulat, three means in Arabic. Istimarat Tazjil, and also I forgot to add Al. Istimarat Al Tazjil, Tawqih, Arabat Al Amtia, Muraqabat Al Jawazat, or Muraqabat Jawazat. Dawrat Mia, or you can say Dawrat Al Mia, Ijraat Mugadara, or Dukhul, Ijraat Mugadara, or Dukhul, Al Salalim, Al Daraj, Al Amtia, Al Salalim, Al Daraj, Al Amtia. Now here we have some examples that I would like you to work on. Basically, this is not exactly the translation for this. This is not exactly the translation. Those uh, sentences are random sentences over here. And what you have to do is uh, you have to put them in order. So, for example, I'm going to give uh, the, the easiest one for you. Ain al bawaba raqam sab'a. Ain al bawaba raqam sab'a. It's it's here actually. Where is gate number seven? So this is the translation. So basically, this is what you have to do by your own. But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to read those sentences for you, okay? And try to get the exact meaning and which sentence below uh, to the Arab to Arabic one or to its translation. 
So, <coughs> excuse me. The first sentence here would be ma hiya bawabati. Ma hiya bawabati. Ain al bawaba raqam sabaa. Ain hiya arabat al amtia. Mata akhroj. Ain al madkhal law samahat. So now I'm going to repeat all of these sentences but using the English letter here. Um, so basically um, this is um, this is already in order but this is not the English translation is only in Arabic but I'm using English uh, alphabets. So uh, again it's called the first one Mahia Bawabati. The second one Aina al Bawaba Rakam Sabaa. أين هي عربة الأمتعة؟ متى أخرج؟ شزيه؟ أين المدخل لو سمحت؟ أين المدخل لو سمحت؟ شكرا للمتابعة everyone and this is here my email and my Udemy profile. If you have any question or if you have any suggestion, please let me know. If you have uh, something you want you would like to share, also you can send it to my uh, private email over here. Um, if you need a coupon code for, for the course, also please send me an email and of course I'll be um, very happy to give you one. So basically uh, this is all what about uh, what we want to talk about actually, what, are we, what do you need to use in the airport, fi al um, If you have any additional word that you couldn't find here, please let me know, I'll also uh, help you with. So again, I would like to say shukran lil mutaba'a, which is thank you for watching, and we'll see you on a following video.